Hi, this is Tim. In this video, we're gonna do a little bit of housekeeping on our linear motion trainer program. In previous videos, we have done a modified version of our wiring enough to get started exercise where we wired our buttons, switches, and lights to our Allen Bradley Compact Logics PLC. We've integrated the Compact Logics PLC to the Yamaha TS-SH motion controller over Ethernet using their AOI instruction. There's zero wires required, only an ethernet cable. Then we made a basic manual auto operation so that right now switch four is in the left position, which is hand, which means we can use switch three and we can jog it to the left. We can jog it to the right, or we can switch this to auto and it will automatically move to its preset position. And then last video, we added this analog module. And mainly, if we jog this, then we can see the light goes out for a split second and comes back on, mainly because we're doing a compare now of our analog position to our linear actuator position. Now, that was unnecessary, but it did give us a nice bit of feedback. Now, the next video I said was going to be us running this in automatic mode, but we've got a little bit of housekeeping that we need to go ahead and take care of in our program. So looking at our program, we have our add-on instruction, and then we had our various bits up here that really initially in our first video, we threw up here to make sure we could figure out how to operate the AOI. And for the most part, we have found purposes for most of these bits, but a few of them we have. We have the safety interlock, we have the origin, and we have the move okay. So these three, we don't actually have anything operating them. And if you happen to shut your trainer off for the night, you notice when it came back on, everything didn't work exactly right. And just to simulate that, I am going to switch this to program mode. And then I'm going to switch it back to run mode, which is pretty much what cycling power will do. And when it comes back on, pay attention to the safety interlock. As you notice, it is now off right here. So that is a problem because we're not going to be able to run now. Also, our move OK down here is not going to work either. So we need to work on both of those. Now, for our safety interlock, we might could add some things later on maybe. But right now, I don't have anything that I really want to interlock with our linear actuator. Our red mushroom button is hardwired to the Yamaha servo controller, so it does drop out it. And I think that is really it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit this wrong and I'm gonna take this examine on out. That way, whenever we are running, the safety interlock is gonna be on. And I think that's gonna work fine for it. Now the origin here, we are going to need some here, uh, probably in just probably in this next video, and we don't actually have a place for it right now. Now I get the feeling with the auto mode, I'm going to use the green button and the red button. So I think I'm going to make the yellow button a home button, and that's going to be input one. Let's go and edit that wrong, and let's go for local colon one colon i dot data dot one. And that is button two. And finally, we had the move OK. And honestly, I need to pop the manual back up here because I don't remember how it worked. Here we go right here, though. The move OK, this tag acts as a motion interlock. We'll pull one in this tag. It allows the move point or move absolute motion to start. We probably will use that in our auto mode video. But for now, what I'm going to do is right now mode auto and move okay i think they need to work exactly together so if our servo is okay and we're in the right position we are going to enable so i'm just going to highlight that instruction and i'll highlight that one and we're going to right click and copy then i'm going to go down here and do the move okay since we did just cycle power we should be able to start this back up so i'm going to switch the handoff auto to off and then we're going to go back to hand, and it does jog now. And now if I switch it to auto, our position, I believe, is zero millimeters right now. 
So if we look at our AOI, yeah, our position is zero millimeters and we're running 100% speed. So when we go to auto, it should zip right to the right position. And it does. So that's just a quick housekeeping step, just because I noticed when I powered off the trainer, you had that little bit of hiccup. And I was like, you know, before we get to the auto, we should fix that. So in our next video, we are going to make an auto sequence for this. I'll put a link to our linear motion control trainer down in the description and to this whole lesson series. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber with TW Controls. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like these. When you're ready for some intense PLC training, check out our PLC lab. And if our videos have helped you out and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.